UN is an organization with many languages and many cultures. Chinese Language Day is observed every year on April the 20th. It was first started by the UN back in 2010 to celebrate multilingualism and cultural diversity. Chinese is one of the six official languages used here at the UN. These days, with the use of technology, hundreds if not thousands of official documents pass through this UN office during any given week. This is the UN's Chinese translation service. Shen Ji Yuan, together with a team of translators, work to ensure all UN documents are accurately translated for official meetings, often in record time. One of the uh, biggest challenges is to deal with the tight uh, deadlines. Um, like we have deadlines every week, um, most days, and uh, sometimes more than one deadline each day. Um, and for me personally, I have uh, worked on uh, many pink tickets, which are highest priority documents that need to be completed within a few hours, um, sometimes as soon as one to two hours. Um, that's really hard. Um, it's never easy to translate any UN documents. Many of them are very complex and sensitive. This week, Chinese staff here in New York are celebrating Chinese Language Day. And this time around, there was a Chinese superstar, Zhou Shen. We had an opportunity to catch up with this MTV Europe Music Award winner and asked him how he feels about performing here at the UN. I think it has a very important meaning, especially since the song I sang today is Ode to Peace, and the song is all about peace. The UN is the platform that has been committed to peace, development, and the peaceful development of a better world. So I think it's a great and beautiful opportunity that I can use my own mother tongue and Chinese music to sing such an appeal. It's estimated that close to a billion people speak Chinese more than any other language. And it's no surprise that the celebration of this ancient language here at the UN headquarters gets bigger every year. Jody Jacobs, CGTN, New York.